I want to peek into the A bomb site on Pearl. How can I do this without dying? First, we need to think about the order in which we peek things. It would not make much sense if we just fully swing a main, clearing every angle on A at once. It also would not make much sense to clear Dugout first since it's one of the last angles that we will be exposed to. So in order to peek the A site properly, we need to take the order in which we peek things into consideration. For example, here is the layout of the A-bomb site. I want to peek the A-bomb site by clearing the angles you see numbered in order. So first, we will peek number one, which is the connecting point from A site to link. Then we will peek number two, which is flower. Next, we will peek number three, which is dugout. Next, we will peek number four, which is the left side of split. And lastly, we will peek number five, which is the right side of split. It's easy, right? Whenever you want to clear a site, this is what you need to take in consideration. What am I exposed to first? And then what am I exposed to after this? But of course, this is only one step, my friends. The next step is obviously to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss amazing coaching content like this. But now we need to walk onto the bomb site. So how do we do this? Given that we would not have any smokes, our best bet is to do this. Once we have checked all five angles, this is how we want to move onto site. So let's start from the angle we left off, which is angle five, the right side of split. I want to take all enemy fights and put them directly in front of me. This way, I don't have to flick 90 or even 180 degrees. The most aiming that I would need to do is some slight, small micro adjustments. So as I am making my way onto site, I will keep my back up against this wall. Then I will slowly move to the right until I get to this wall to use this cover. Now I will ride the edge of this wall to make sure every fight is in front of me. After we have cleared Link, we now need to worry about back sight. I need to look at Seeker first, then quickly check Flower, then make my way into Seeker here. Here is tricky since we have Dugout and Seeker it which are right across from each other. Here, my friends, is where early information or utility would be handy. We don't know if there is an enemy here or here, so we have to go with our best guess depending on what has happened in prior rounds or earlier on in the current round that we're in. But basically, my friends, you have now mastered how to peek and push into the A-bomb site on Pearl. Depending on your agent and the utility that you use, in your pushes, you may look slightly different. Just make sure to use what you learned in this video as a general rule of thumb. For example, if I am Jet, my push would look like this. If I were a fade, my push would look kind of like this. Depending on your agent and the utility that you have at hand, the way you push and peek will vary. Here is another quick example, but for the B-bomb site. So we won't go into detail here, but it is the numbered order in which you need to peek the B-bomb site as an attacker. Now for the B-bomb site, here's the general path you should be taking. All right, well, make sure before you peek into any angle, give yourself a second to mentally and physically prepare to peek into that angle. But of course, what good is your peeking if you can't shoot? So if you suck at gunfights, I recommend watching my deathmatch training video next. Deuce, deuce, everyone. Hit that like and subscribe button, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.